And there's so many things out there for triggering. I tell people when you're talking about staying away from things, if you know something that triggers you, for instance, all the inundation of pornography on the Internet, you know, it's designed to trigger people sexually. And it's, again, designed to open up people up so that they are more programmable because the programming comes in through the lower chakra areas. So if you know something is triggering you, if you know something is to the point, and this is what these things happen, where it sucks you in. And if you feel sucked into something, most likely you're being held open so the programming can enter in. You, you have to keep yourself away from that. But the yeah, I think there's an awful lot um, happening now at the moment. We, we do have guests that have come on and talked about um, child abductions. An awful lot of people go missing, especially children. I mean, uh-huh. We had Ted, Ted Gunderson on when he was alive. And he is an ex-FBI, head of FBI Los Angeles. And Ted was saying about the kids being taken and being abused and going through satanic rituals. And that seems that seems to have grown in tremendously over the last few years. A lot of people going missing, especially children. Um, well, I think we're more aware of it now, too, with the Internet. You know, where everybody is not just in your area. You can see what's going on all over the world. But it's always really been very um, mm-hmm. prolific. It, it has to do with uh, sexual magic ritual Yeah. Uh, and, and even slavery in various parts of the world. Yeah, I, I remember, again, just referring back to Credo Mutua when he was talking about, um, he said boys more than girls because it's something got to do with the um, endorphins released into the blood. Uh, due to fear and the pain? Well, it also has to do with male energy, which projects out, whereas female energy takes in. Um, And so in the certain sexual magic ritual, there is a need for the male energy to be projected out so that it can be then absorbed and uh, enhanced and and, uh, broadcast uh, afterwards. Do you feel that with Gaia being obviously Mother Earth, that we need more of this female energy and move away from the male energy that's been dominating the planet for centuries. I think that really it's out of balance. And yeah. so what they're really trying to do is bring about a false androgyny, which is indicative of the reptilian situation. So what they're doing is they're feminizing men and they're creating more masculine females. And they're also imprinting everybody for group sex and a lot of other things going on out there. So there really is just a mixing up of the energy, which goes way back to what we talked about a few minutes ago, that people don't know who and what they are. And therefore, they are imitating whatever the mass imp- printing is being shown to them. See, we have noticed that, and we've talked about that before on the show, regarding the chemicals that are being used on a daily basis, and the, 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 the changing, the feminine, uh, being, men being more feminine, and women being more like larger louts. And yes, being absolutely. more men, and that's been over the last few years. And not been, only that, but I mean, even what you, what you just said there about the girls being larger louts are whatever, maybe there's a different term, a terminology in, in the U.S., but that's they now have TV shows based on that. Uh, girls going out, getting drunk, and what they get up to. It, it's now t- a television show. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. unbelievable. No, the change, yeah. in, the, the change in the whole lot, and um, it's, 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 I mean, it's more, you can see it more than what you could. Go back 10 years, you didn't really see that. But there is a big, big, big change going on, um, which is worrying because one of the things... Um, I was on, on, on Facebook, and one of the ladies said that there's, there's a higher level of men going to doctors saying that they have breast cancer. And this is men. Yeah, but, yeah no, that's been going on actually for a long time. But, um, but it all has to do with nurturing. The breasts represent nurturing. And there is no nurturing that's going on. Female energy, people don't know what that is. True feminine energy, they don't know what that is. And that was started back with the women's liberation movement. And that was not about women being equal to men. That was about changing women into men. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, April 20th, 2012, and I'm Darko. You can check out my website. It's ggnonline.com. Also on YouTube, my channel is ddarko2012, and I have a backup channel as of recent. It's ddarko2013. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little introduction video there. And uh, I have some news uh, that's going to follow up on that or tie into that issue. Uh, Honey, I'm home for my date. Massachusetts families open up about open marriage. So you just saw it right there. And this is part of the New World Order religion that's basically, it's, a lot of people already accept it right now, so you can't say, oh, it's coming down the road. It's kind of already here. It's just a matter of um, how long 
as I put it, hell on earth is going to continue, or this madness is going to end. To most people, the idea of their loved one dating and having passionate sex with other people is repellent. But for two married couples with children in Somerville, Massachusetts, and thousands more across the country, this is happy and stable norm. So there's a little video that you can go in there and check out. They're um, going to have a, they're going to cover it. Strange arrangements, the new sex, and of course, since the mainstream media is is, uh, is covering this, they're pretty much promoting it, and that's kind of the philosophy that I've I've not really philosophy, but uh, the concept that I've talked about before, discussed, which is mainstream media when they don't talk about certain things like uh, mercury and autism, it's usually because it's true, but when they cover stuff about um, autism and obesity they're trying to push something so a uh, school covers mural for depicting a man woman and child so a warwick school superintendent is stepping in after a student mural at the high school was deemed inappropriate and painted over because it depicted a man holding uh, the hand of a woman and a child so and you can see there the little progression graduating college or whatever and then having a family so it goes on and it says that the mural was meant to depict the life of a man and it ended with a scene with a man, woman, and child. But it goes on here and says the student artist said that she depicted the man and woman has married with wedding rings. But it goes on here and it says that according to the individual uh, that was stepping in, it says here that uh, the scene was painted over because some of the members of the Pilgrim High School school community suggested that the depiction of a young man's development from boyhood through adulthood as displayed may not represent the life experiences of many of the students at the high school. It goes on and it says that uh, she preferred the original idea when the assistant principal uh, basically confronted her. However, she said she would take the weekend to think about any changes to the original sketch. In other words, She'll uh, think again before doing something like that. And uh, remember in the high school in Minnesota where the principal was actually um, not really under fire, but uh, they basically they were having a kissing contest. The only problem was it was between parents and children. They were children, so, and they were blindfolded. So again, this is part of the New World uh, Order religion that they're promoting and bringing in. It says here, BPA exposure makes male mice less masculine and attractive. This is from June 28th, 2011. So BPA exposure makes male mice less masculine. And this is based off what? This is based off a study where male deer mice whose mothers were fed BPA while pregnant uh, had more difficulty navigating a maze and displayed less interest in exploring than uh, unexposed males. A, a sign of demasculinization. Try saying that a bunch of times as well really fast. Um, but yeah, so for those uh, guys that want to um, feel tough and drink their cans of beer while they're watching their football, which I think personally, it's my own theory, that uh, the watching of the football actually feminizes men because it takes out that aggression that they have towards their enslavement and just, ah, I'm just going to watch other people bang each other up and reach for that beer. But, oh, wait a minute, BPA and beer cans, is it a cause for concern? And the individual goes in there and basically... Um, uh, talks about it, but yeah, BPA, so there you go. Men wear heels for sexual violence awareness. So yeah, it sounds like a good thing, right? But um, just looking, tying this in, it's men wearing slippers and high heels. And Okay, so USMC, this is, I, I can believe this, but I can't believe it. Women to attend infantry school. So the Marine Corps school that produces infantry combat officers will enroll its first ever female students this year the marine corps times has uh, learned so let's not forget the whole thing about the don't ask don't tell policy again um i served in the marine corps and i knew that there was people that were homosexuals and that's fine and everything but again it wasn't promoted you knew who they were and they did their job but when you see the government pushing these policies and agendas they're saying come on come on do it explore do it and uh, what this does is, I guess if you do believe in nationalism, um, it kind of kills what they call uh, unit uh, cohesiveness, right? As far as trust and knowing that when you're in battle and the bullets are flying, that you're going to be able to, uh, you know, if one, if one man's down, you're going to be able to carry him by yourself, uh, you know, five miles if you have to, to safety. But this is for officers. It's not for enlisted so this is something that I noticed while I was in about um, female Marines. Uh, they usually go and move up higher 
um, a lot faster than males. Um, also, they tend to, not all of them, I met some females that were hard workers, but the majority of them were kind of slack asses, as you call them. And uh, look at this, it says the goal is to establish a gender neutral physical fitness standard uh, basically so they can see if they can start, you know, basically carrying heavy weapons and casualties off the battlefield. Of course, with technology and um, the introduction of drones and robots and computers and, like I said before, special forces are scaling down the, the old school uh, large uh, infantry, you know, boots on the ground type uh, force. And they're, and they're thinning it out, and, and, and they're, quote, modernizing it, and this is part of it. Female gladiators tantalizing new evidence from ancient Rome, says statue is the only second known depiction of women gladiator, says study. And it goes on and says that uh, it's evidence that uh, trained women did fight to the death in ancient amphitheaters, a new study says. So something else that's kind of interesting, it says that um, as far as being topless, it says one of the rules for gladiators was that uh, women or men, they fought with bare chests. But it goes on, it says, given the large male audience for the competitions, perhaps there's another reason. It says, no doubt, the particular appearance of female gladiators would also cause an erotic impact on its viewers. Next up, Hunger Games. So it sounds a little bit like this. I train like... Uh, a tribute, the workout, it says the Hunger Games workout is bound to be the new 300 boot camp, although instead of being ripped, a, a ripped Spartan physique, let's call it the lean, teen, and thinspiration look, right? Like this look, uh, the programming icon, Pippa, thin Kate Middleton, used as thinspiration for pro anorexia websites. And then next up, pro anorexia, anorexia, sorry, thinspiration photos shouldn't be banned from social media. Well, nothing should be banned. But uh, this is being promoted. Again, you see you see the kind of uh, technique that they use? It says here, teenager wrongly held in psychiatric ward for six months as doctors claimed she had an eating disorder, but it was a rare condition that made her vomit 15 times a day. So you can see, you can see how some things are promoted and then others, you know, it's just a double standard. Cops take school kids' DNA and murder a case. So without parental consent in Sacramento, an eighth grade student's DNA was take. Oh, well, they didn't get the memo. This is back in 2011. Mothers will get baby's DNA sample, and this is in Virginia. for uh, And this is a take-a-home DNA sample, but what they don't know is that they actually take it before they even leave uh, without them knowing. They have to opt out, and if they don't know, well then, oops, there's no going back. Baby DNA and newborn screening. Most parents are completely stunned when they find out that their child's blood is being held by the state. They have no recollection, and they think it's unlawful. And there's a call out in the Netherlands for compulsory uh, contraception. The Netherlands needs legal provisions to allow compulsory contraception for serious drug addicts, psychiatric pa uh, patients, and the mentally handicapped. He goes, it's a controversial argument being made by Queen Beatrix's brother-in-law, uh, former head of the Dutch Safety Board. UK aid helps to fund forced sterilization of India's poor money from the Department of the International Development has helped to pay for controversial programs that has led to miscarriages and even deaths after botched operations. So this is interesting. Remember that Uzbekistan article where I was talking about that, that woman was forced sterilized? Uh, it said what? It was in rural areas. Human rights campaigner told the court that inhumane sterilizations, particularly in rural areas, continue with reckless disregard for the lives of the poor women. Isn't that funny? Because what about the cities? There's supposed to be all these people in these cities, yet they go right to the rural areas every freaking time. Well, that's because the people in the cities follow the eugenics and programming of not having any kids because they think that they're evil and they want to further their own whatever materialistic goals, while the people in the rural areas tend to just kind of say, you know what, I'm going to have my children because, you know, the children are... Like in Uzbekistan, the woman said it's a sign of success or whatever you want to call it. Okay, moving on here. And you don't have to agree with me. That's just my own personal opinion based off everything I've seen. Blood tests helps doctors diagnose depression in adolescents. Remember, you better be careful because treating depression with electrodes is coming to you. Uh, it says here, Missouri kindergartner forced to sit in her own diarrhea. So it says a six-year-old was forced to wrap a trash bag around herself and sit in her own diarrhea. Uh, during the testing period, Homeland Security's pre-crime screening will never work. And <laughs> it's a terrible idea. I love these propaganda pieces. Bloomberg wants smoking ban for apartments now. This is after they've already banned it from public places, that, including restaurants, bars, parks, beaches, and even Times Square. Ooh, new research could mean cell phones that can see through walls. Ooh, it means it doesn't exist, right? 2010, Dutch police tried to develop x-ray vision. 2010, full body scan technology deployed on the streets and vans. And hate to break it, but your car already has a black box spying on you.
thank you.